Hey everyone, Kathy here. Today we're going to be making one of my Living Liquor Meal Packages, Taste of Santa Fe. Now this is made with black beans and wheat berries, both of which are really sturdy, so they require soaking overnight. So last night, simply take the spice packet out, set it aside, and then soak the black beans and wheat berries in a generous amount of water. So now it's time to get cooking. First, drain the beans and wheat berries through a fine strainer, rinse well, and set aside. Next, you heat your pot over medium heat and pour in your olive oil. Now first we're going to saute our onions. I tend to just throw a few diced onions in the pan straight away and when they start to sizzle I know the pan is hot enough to add all the onions. So they're sizzling now. Let's throw in the rest of our onions and now you're going to saute. Let those cook for about five minutes until they're translucent and lightly golden in color. Now you want to stir these every minute or so just to make sure they're not sticking. Next we're going to add our diced bell pepper or paprika as it's called in the Netherlands and saute for another five minutes to let the natural sweetness of the bell peppers come out. And again, same thing, you'll want to give it a stir every minute or so just to make sure it's not sticking. Pour in the contents of the spice packet and mix well to let the heat activate the flavors of the spices. Now cook this for about a minute, uh, that's good enough, and you'll just want to be stirring constantly. Now we just add our drained beans and our wheat berries and mix well, get those coated with all those great flavors. Pour in the water, give it a stir, increase your heat to high, and bring everything up to a boil. After it's boiling, place your lid in the pot, reduce heat to simmer. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to use a Wonder Bag to finish the cooking, so I'm only going to let this simmer on the stove for about 20-25 minutes. If you don't have a Wonder Bag, no problem. Just continue simmering for about a, one and a half hours to two hours until the beans are soft. You'll want to check for doneness around an hour and 20 minutes, um, and you may need to add more water during the cooking process just due to evaporation. Okay, back to the Wonder Bag. So this pot has been on the stove simmering for about 25 minutes on medium-low heat, and now I'm going to move my entire covered pot into the Wonder Bag and let it finish cooking. Just snuggle it in there nicely, seal it up tightly. This captures and traps the heat from the initial simmer and will thus carry on slow cooking for the next few hours, giving us maximum flavor development with minimum fuss. Okay, kitchen's clean, dinner's in the bag, I'm off to do something else. Tonight we're serving our Santa Fe beans and wheat berries in wraps. So I've got some avocado, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, or coriander as it's called in Europe, along with some grated cheese and a bit of Greek yogurt in place of sour cream. Now the only thing we need to do the beans and wheat berries is just season them with a bit of salt. Uh, cook's note here, when cooking with dried beans it's important to salt your beans after cooking. Cooking dry beans in salted water can mean they might not fully soften, so no matter how long you cook them, you're going to have some tough beans. So just add your salt after the fact. Now mix it up really well, and then just use a slotted spoon to transfer the beans and wheat berries into a serving bowl, and your superfood wrap buffet is ready to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this dish. Uh, tonight we served it as a wrap buffet. It also works great as a standalone chili uh, salad bowl. I love adding it to omelets. So. Be sure to check out livinglecker.com for this recipe and serving inspirations, as well as my other Living Lecker meal packs.